Uh, first off, I would just like to uh, thank you guys for taking time out of your day to come see our demo. It really means a lot to us to show off all our hard work throughout the quarter. Um, so our game is called Sumo Panda, and I guess we could start off with a con the concept. The concept was I was talking to my friend about game ideas, and uh, I mean, this game like kind of fulfilled my childhood dream of watching pandas wrestle, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. It's kind of like a mix of, uh, what's that movie? Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> oh, here, uh, Aaron designed our website. Aaron, could you wave? Uh, and we have our countdown, which is now at zero. So is it done? Yeah. Guys, is it done? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Well, uh, before we start, I would just like to... Uh, thank some people. Um, obviously the team, the team did really well. Uh, everyone worked really hard. Um, yeah, John. John worked mostly on actually like everything. Mostly <laughs> graphics though. Uh, Sarah, she worked on power-ups and uh, game, a little bit of game input. Um, and then Rochelle. Yeah, Rochelle. She did all of our camera work, which is really good. You'll see in game. And then Aaron and I, he, uh, we both worked together in networks in the beginning. And then he did all the HUD, HUD that you'll see, which is pretty amazing. And then Kellen over there, uh, he did all of our sound work, which basically makes our game. And then I worked net networks and then a little bit of collision detection. And then um, all of the animation. Oh. By the way, animation, very hard. <laughs> um, meshes and animation, I did in the last two or three days. And um, the thank you, personal thank you to Chad Vernon. He's not here, but he, <laughs> he created the exporter uh, for the model uh, that we made in Maya. And that basically put everything in the game. And of course, uh, Jeffrey Volker for creating this class. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, we, we, got, we, we also like to thank Sony Entertainment because they helped us a little bit uh, on our graphics issues and modeling issues as well. So um, I think the best way to explain our game is to just explain what they're doing when they're playing. So you guys want to start? Two more minutes. What? Uh oh, yeah, yeah. Can we get two volunteers from the audience? So, green shirt. Uh, we don't have any girls. What? <laughs> okay. How are you? So all of this artwork uh, was done by Aaron. All the gooey and uh, the background image. Yes, this is supposed to happen. Okay. So we had a really hard time uh, figuring out which team you're on. So we have that you on the on the bars. And also in the beginning when you change teams, it says you are this panda. Yes, there we are. <laughs> so when you win, we have uh, the ballerina dance. It was originally supposed to be a move, but when John saw it, he made it the ending dance, the victory dance, and then the falling animation as well. So there's the belly bump, and then uh, we also have a sidestep to dodge any step or any attack from the other panda. And what you're seeing right now is the is the crane. It's basically like a coach. They give uh, either your panda, the same team's panda, more weight and more energy. Or there's also negative items, like the one he has right now, which is decreased weight. Right. So as you can see, we basically have two different type of gameplay here. One is like a Tekken-style fighter game. And the crane is a first-person shooter. 
You see, he got all his uh, energy back from that power up. By the way, uh, the skybox and the textures on the level are all Rochelle's work. Amazing work. You can also see that there's a uh, transparency everywhere. And almost everything you hear, uh, the sound-wise, is all done by Kellen, made by Kellen's mouth. There you see it. <laughs> yes, we have farts. We have over, uh, we have 15 animations for the panda, and the crane has three animations. Okay. So we have a lot of power-ups that you, the crane can pick up, and the pandas can also see what the crane has in its inventory right now. Um, you can tell what it does to the panda by the icons right below the the power-up icon, which is green for good, which is, it adds weight, and red for bad, as in decreased weight. Yeah, show off the Honda. Yeah, we have a special move coming up. Or should be coming up. Oh, he charged off the side. <laughs> so, red team won. Because they won two rounds. Yes. Uh... So Sarah, at the, in the last two days, made the power-ups um, like Chinese lanterns. It actually looks a lot better than boxes. That is not a marijuana leaf, by the way. That is, that is a Canadian maple leaf. Do right trigger. Right trigger. Oh. <laughs> so we have three intro uh, animations. Oh, okay. uh, John is now playing the right panda. Uh, he should be doing the E Honda soon. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the ultimate move. A little uh, Street Fighter taste in there. Yeah, that's supposed to happen. So if the cranes hit each other, um, they do uh, stun them for, I think, two seconds. And yeah, like that. <laughs> and also it drops their power up, so. John's an expert marksman at shooting cranes for some reason. 
Stop it. Give him a chance. So as you can see, no one has energy, no one has weight. So they can't really do anything because they slap each other. Yeah, that's a double baddie. Yes, those are all Kellen's sounds. So through development, we had major lag issues. And obviously, for a fighting game, you can't have lag at all. Uh, it, was very, it was a very interesting problem. It was uh, something with blocking and non-blocking packets on TCP. Someone win already. <laughs> oh, someone won. So, uh, as you can see, there's two different cameras. Rochelle programmed this uh, sumo panda to be in the middle of the two two pandas what when it's when it's what So sidestep the side. Side step is very effective. It, and it doesn't cost any energy. Uh, yeah, we did every every move. So I could go should I go should I go more technical? You can. It will end at the end of this round. Okay. Assuming that it doesn't take forever. <laughs> right. It's just boring. Someone give blue. Okay. Do it, E Honda. Go. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
I think I think we came up with uh, just everyday items, and then <laughs> like you know, okay. it's a maple leaf. People have you know syrup on their pancakes, <laughs> but like 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 for the like the basketball, for example, it was it less weight. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like you're exercising, so it's like less weight. Yeah, we also had um, every combination of good and bad. And everyday syringes. Everyday syringes. <laughs> it's a tranquilizer. <laughs> That's everyday. <laughs> well, it is for pandas. Okay. There's one other question. What was the most fun uh, uh, thing you did in your book project? <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun making all the sound effects. <laughs> I think it was um, fun... I guess at two o'clock in the morning, making animations and then sending it to John, and John's like, "Wow, that's a dance." <laughs> it was fun once we had like the whole animation move system. Would you guys want to play this game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay.